All right, friends, um, just want to talk a little bit about uh, today and the significance of today, September 12th. Um, yeah, today, uh, September 12th, 2010, is the day that I stepped on my IED in Afghanistan. So I guess I actually uh, consider this <laughs> my real birthday. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, this was uh, today, um, 12 years ago, was the day that, yeah, I, I, I thought I was going to die laying there. Um, on the ground in a village uh, alongside the Helmand River. And uh, little did I know um, then, 12 years ago, the, the impact of stepping on that IED and what that was actually going to do for me and how that was going to change my life. Yeah, as I was laying there, I, I knew my life was going to be forever changed if I survived that blast. Um, but just how, I didn't know. So, um, you know, after 27 surgeries on my right leg, and finally, um, just some really hellacious uh, rehabilitation. I did. I returned back to my um, special forces team or ODA, and uh, I redeployed, uh, redeployed seven more times to combat um, back to Afghanistan. So, um, yeah, it, it, that sounds like a success all on its own, but that wasn't because the the basically the domino effect of when I stepped on that IED to where I'm at today, little did I know that that was gonna pave the way for this passion and this drive that I have um, now to help others in areas that are, they're littered with landmines, um, IEDs, booby traps, explosive hazards. And so when Russia um, invaded Ukraine, February 24th, uh, 2022, you know, I had that calling that I wanted to go and do something more. There was something bigger that I could be doing, but I didn't know what. So I went over to Ukraine as a humanitarian um, aid worker with a missionary organization. And um, that was, you know, March to May. And then that led into my second trip in August because I kept seeing this, this landmine crisis all around me. And civilians were starting to um, come back into their areas and they were hitting landmines and booby traps. And, and that same story goes all around the world. So it started, it started this drive in me to, to basically want to use my experience, this, this experience that changed my life forever, September 12, 2010. I wanted to use this experience, that pain, because I, I'm a firm believer, God doesn't waste pain. And so that pain that I went through, I wanted to use that experience to help others because that's the that that's the ultimate um, that's the ultimate therapy, you know, uh, for anybody. Whether you're dealing with PTS or whatever um, dark times you have in your life, um, helping others that's that's the answer. And so I knew that I wanted to use this experience and this pain to help others. So I went back in August and started removing landmines. Well. That has all come full circle. September 12th, 2010 to September 12th, 2022. Uh, today, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm announcing the uh, creation of Tip of the Spear Landmine Removal Group. And uh, it's, it's going to be a 501c3 and the paperwork's with the state right now. So I'm at the mercy of the state. But it doesn't matter. I, uh, I think it's God's will and I think this is going to get pushed through. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been 12 years and that pain and that uncertainty that I felt after I stepped on, you know, my IED 12 years later, now I see, now I see what the plan was. And so, yeah, I, uh, I definitely, I appreciate everybody's support for this last mission. Um, continue spreading the word, continue supporting, uh, because I'm going back in November and we're going to remove more landmines. We're going to give more areas back to to the civilian population and I'm going to continue doing this. This is a Ukraine mission and then international. Um, anybody who needs help, anybody who is being held prisoner by these explosive um, dangers that are in their area. Yeah, my, you know, this, my team, we want to go, we want to do what we can to help. So keep spreading the word. If you can donate, donate. Once the 501c3 paperwork gets approved, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be letting everybody know for sure. But September 12th, 2022, Tip the Spear Landmine Removal Group was created. Stay tuned. A lot of big things coming up. I promise.